How many of you guys want to say you're the best indoor speed skater in the world? Only Brandon and Corey want to be the best indoor speed skater in the world? So, Aaron's, okay. like, Aaron's like, you know, that'd be cool. Would it be, would it be pretty cool to be able to say that? So, how do we establish that you're the best indoor speed skater in the world? We get guys like Steven to come in, who right now is a world champion, who two weeks ago just beat legends in the sport, and you guys are racing this dude, right? This guy flew from Colombia to come race you guys. So far, we've had several international skaters come to try indoor, several world champions, and no one yet has came away with a W. So when you go and you become the grand champion, or you win that, we can say with confidence that you are the best indoor speed skater in the world. But I want to get first get this started because we did have two new grand champions. I want to make sure that they got their suits for their ready to roll for tonight. On the lady side, Kelsey Hellman. <laughs> and on the men's side, Adrian Workman. You gotta come up here, man. You gotta work for this. He's you worked Hollywood. hard enough to get it. Dang, Hollywood. I've been skating since I was four years old, so 17 years, and what got me into skating was my uh, coach and my dad, Michael Hellman. NSC means to be fun. The competition is competitive because you're skating against the best girls in the world. So I've been skating for about 15 years now. Uh, I just kind of grew up skating around the rink, so I was like a rink rat. Um, and then one time I went to a skating party for the speed skaters and just was hooked from there. To me, NSC is just a way to get out there and race with the top people in the world in indoor skating, because I think indoor is really where it's at with like keeping things fast and exciting and all that. So this is really the only indoor racing I do, so it's really awesome to be able to come in here and mix it up with all the top people. Washington, we're uh, NSC Event 29. Um, we got a lot of new new faces here. Uh, I'm Brandon Holm from Federway, number 55. Stephen Carter, AKA S. Dot, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, I was a rink rat, so uh, summer day camp started I, way back when I was around like three years old. Um, started racing in the afternoon, wanted to win some races, popcorn candy, things like that, and uh, started getting good, and then it's just a blur from there. We just finished up the 29th NSC uh, Grand Champions race. For me, it was a very special thing today. Uh, we've got two of our Cato Motors guys that made the Grand Champions podium. Zach Stoppelmore uh, won four of four races, raced four times, won four times. Um, and uh, Steven from Columbia uh, picked up the uh, third spot in the Grand Champions race. That's a pretty incredible thing for us. NSC turned out to be a really special thing for our sport because the culture of our sport had gotten to a point where we really didn't have a, a, a showcase top end. And um, we stepped in with NSC right at the point when uh, the skaters in our sport were looking for that, uh, that spotlight, that top end, that showcase event. Um, we started out with some invitations and uh, just invited the top and, and the elite. Um, the events have progressed and progressed. We've uh, started doing tryouts to bring in new blood and let people earn their spots, to join the people that were selected right up front when we first started the events. And um, it's, it just keeps growing. The, the, uh, the fan base keeps growing. The athletes that want to be part of the, the, the fan base keeps growing. And um, we're just gonna keep, keep going up from here. 
things from NSC because they don't know they're going to get it. Bullshit. Oh, These dudes ask me for everything, dude. Mo, now you're acting like you hear all the stuff that people ask me. I'm not acting like anything. I'm telling you this. Look, look. Here, here. Look, this, this, this is what I'm going to tell you. No, look, this is how I'm going to put it out there. Look, it's actually not a sprint race. That's crazy. I said, the reason, I, this, is, this is coming from another sprinter. I just say that that race is about can you finesse a corner at top speed? Top speed doesn't mean sprint. Top speed means top speed. Sprinting is I'm going to stop and I'm going to get to top speed. You see his face? No, I'm just saying That's like my brain, brain is doing what most my, my brain is doing what Steven well, face. Well, I think it's because you're, you, but you're stuck on you're stuck on your idea, but you haven't really yeah, thought about what I'm saying. I am. Yeah. So, so you're, you're you're saying sprinting is not going as fast as you can. No, I mean, no, listen, listen, listen. What That's what, sprinting what is. the 100 meter is is getting as fast as you can and maintaining that. That's what that is. The 100 meter time trials maintaining defense, your time speed. It's defense, 100 meters. But Thomas in his defense, not that I want to do this, but in his defense, it's a technical thing. If I competed in the flying hundred, I could compete against anybody. If I have to go from the line, I'm whack. A sprinter. But isn't the flying hundred to get the fastest hundred? It's to get the high, the fastest top end. That, that's that's what yes. it is. So but what he listen. wants to do is establish who can go from zero to sixty the fastest. It's it's, it's technical. It's super yes. technical to the point to where you don't have time to roll that lap and kind of pay attention to if you're smart and you're doing the rolling one as you're rolling your yeah. build up or even the one before the build up you're kind of like yeah where am I going to enter where am I not going to enter where am I going to build up where am I not going to build up but the standstill is like where do I start at on the line am I better from the inside that I can get to that corner and pick up my speed the snap at the corner or do I need to run from the outside directly at that first corner and yeah, build but up my now you're right making an argument against his no argument. because if you're saying you I'm on both sides of the fence listen listen when you go to worlds they don't do a rolling time trial I, I know no, that, what, I'm, what I'm saying is what, what what, not anymore what I'm saying is like <laughs> that's, this is what I'm trying to say is if it's a sprint a sprinter Sprints, it takes time to get there. When I when as an so endurance, I, that's the as, way you do a 300 no, meters. Bro. I'm saying as yeah, yeah, exactly. As an endurance skater, you're gonna know how to finesse a track. You're gonna know because you skate so many laps that you know the track. You get it. As an endurance skater, uh, as a sprinter, wait. So I'm you're making, you're making an argument that the distance skaters have a better advantage. They do. What's, they um, really do. That's why Stelly well, Stelly can win. Hold on. Let me let me get this out because um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm yeah. gonna agree with him and disagree with him. Thank He's a hundred percent wrong. That endurance people have. Hold on, I'm gonna. Hold on, listen. He's 100. Let me let me get this out. Yeah. He's 100 percent wrong that an endurance skater has an advantage on the flying hundred, but he is 100 percent accurate in the fact that if you did a standing hundred, the outcome would be different than the 300 oh, meter. For sure. Brandon would not win the standing hundred. Either him or him would win the standing hundred. Brandon will win the 300 almost every single time because Brandon has the whole straightaway. There's something weird about going from the middle and accelerating. Like Brandon was like, I bet I take one from him this year. What's that? I think I'm going to take one from him this year. You're saying if we, if we did a I'm not saying I want to do it. I'm no, just, no, I'm just simply kind of saying that it's yeah. a different race. It's a whole different race. I know, race, that, yeah. but that's yeah. my point. So my, I'm asking, so if you did a standing, how do you do it from the middle? From the yeah, that's, one. You that's how you did it. Because yeah. that, since that's where the clock starts, that to me is the fairest way to do it. That's where the start and end, yeah. Time of what you can do a hundred meters in from from standstill. Now my, the whole reason we designed the flying hundred is because it is a neutralizer, which we've already proven is a it neutralizer sucks. because we've had yeah. sprinters win and we've had endurance guys win. 